continue to bring you shots from Lower Montague, and wow, this is like a this is like a bomb zone right here. How you doing, sir? Fine, fine. How you been? I'm making it, making it. How you doing, Martin Foss HTV? I, I seen you on TV before. All right. What's Rick, your name? Ricky Lejean. Ricky, how you doing, Ricky? Yeah, I got a camp down the bayou. Uh, it's pretty devastating down there, but luckily I, I did pretty good. You own this property here? No, I had an ice machine in this little trailer. I moved it here yeah. thinking it was going to be safe and... Uh, not here. Not here. Not here. Man, what went on in this? I mean, it looks like the Western Eye Wall came right over here, but this is just massacred over here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, I looked at the, the water gauge and we was seven foot below zero here. So we didn't have no water. It sucked all the water out. So, we, you know, 150 miles an hour wind, it just blew mud everywhere. You know, I had one broken window in my camp, but the whole inside was solid mud. Yeah. Even inside the cabinets, uh, mud went through the window seals and everywhere. It was no way to stop yeah. it. A gentleman down the road said someone in a boat was clocking steady winds at 180 plus. Yeah, uh, I didn't have a wind gauge yeah. to find out. Uh, whenever the electricity went out, all my cameras went out and... So I didn't have the opportunity to really look at it. You were here? No, I live actually in Gonzales. Gonzales, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just but, uh, my little I mean, retirement. Look at place. the 18-wheeler uh, right here, Dwayne, if we could get a shot of that. Uh, that takes a little wind to do that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's, uh, I, I only been down here 21 years, but this is the worst I ever seen it. Yeah, it's crazy. But it just looks like whatever came over here didn't spare anything. And so I'm, I'm not so sure you wasn't in that stronger inner eye wall over here because it, it really spared nothing. Yeah, I looked at the radar whenever it was coming over and we, we was right in the eye. So uh, we had a break for about probably 20 minutes there until it passed us. So, but you can see all the debris when you go down the bayou, everything. The wind was blowing more out the northwest coming in. Right. So the camps, everything, all the debris flew that way. Then when it passed, it threw everything from the opposite direction. Right. You can see it coming and going, right? That's it. We got it coming and going. How do you, I mean, look, and I know the process. I've been doing this for a while, but before you can rebuild, you got to deal with the loss, and it's almost like you got to take baby steps. Yeah, you still got to get permits to, to fix anything, but they're waiving the fee on it, luckily. Yeah. You know, it saved yeah. some guys a few dollars, but... Being just a little over a month since the storm hit, I mean, these guys, they, they are rebuilding as quick as, you know, within the first week, people was putting roofs back on and metal back on. And some people are not going to rebuild. You know, they probably had enough of it. Right. But, uh, but some people, man, they, they got crews down there working. And I would have thought they would have tore down 90% of the camps down there. But they, they have platforms to start with, so they're, they're building on top of it again. As long as you got a platform, people are going to build. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Foundation. As long as you got the foundation. Yeah, you got the foundation, you're good. But, Rick, as you, as you step out and you look this way and you look at that building just going and you look at the uh, amount of damage across the street and, and all through here, I, I would hate to have been here for this storm. Yeah, I know a few folks that stayed down here. They said they'll never do it again. The scariest they've been in their life. I know a gentleman that stayed uh, on his boat in Chauvin, in, in in his boat, and he said it was bad. He's, you know, he fishes offshore, shrimps offshore. He got a 72-foot boat, mm -hmm. but he said it, I was scared, and I, he said I've been in 30-foot seas in that boat, and this this storm didn't uh, no comparison how bad this storm was compared to that. Yeah. And this is the worst one you've seen? Yeah, that's the worst one I've seen. Yeah, I think this rewrites all the history books and makes uh, people a little older than us say, Betsy what? You know, because there's always Betsy. Yeah, now it's Betsy. not Betsy. Betsy. Oh, Andrew was the yeah. last bad one that hit here. Yeah. But uh, I, was, I was very lucky. My camp, I got it all built out of metal down there. And I lost a couple sheets off my boat dock, and that was it. It's, it looks perfect. Metal seems to be the way to go. Yeah, put a bunch of screws. Don't don't even don't even pick up a nail. A nail don't do no good. You got to screw everything together, bolt everything together, and and uh, 
hopefully it'll survive. I say metal's the way to go, but then you look at the metal building next door, but you see they have they have wooden studs in it, so. Yeah, They're, wood studs, and hey, it's old, you know. Yeah. Once the, you know, down here, you can put stainless steel, I put stainless steel screws in pretty much everything, and they even rust away. And once those screws rust away, you don't have nothing there. Yeah, so periodically, some good advice would be for people to, to check and, and put some more screws. That's it, more screws, more hurricane straps, and and uh, hope for the best. You know, I, I have a barn that has hurricane straps, and my neighbor said, well, you lost your barn on the top because you didn't have hurricane straps. I said, no, I have them. It just cracked all the two by six wood above the straps. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it has no mercy. I also had a little houseboat right here. I moved it over here to, uh, but it, it, it's, it's totaled as well, yeah. so. Well, we appreciate you joining us and just just looking around here. Does it get worse down there? Oh yeah, it's worse. It's oh worse. my you God! You got camps that are completely gone. The camp on each side of me is completely gone, and the camps that wasn't high up survived. I yeah. think the wind came and hit this uh, protection levee yeah. and went right over the top That's of them. That's right. Shears it up. Yeah, sheared it up, and yeah, it, yeah, it gets pretty bad I've down there. I've seen that quite a bit. So if you're 16 feet, you get hammered. If you had 12 or 10 feet, you did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. But there's an exception to all those rules. Yeah, if we would have got the tide surge, you know, if we would have went a little further west, you know, everything would have been gone. Yeah. You know, that right. water don't have no mercy. It, it, it. It's it's like a tidal wave coming in. It's gonna wipe out everything. It is. All right, they have it from Lower Montague. We're gonna make our way a little further. He says it's a little worse, so we're gonna go take a ride.